always start off with the four rules of gun The fundamentals safety. of shooting a revolver are identical to the fundamentals of shooting a semi-automatic. This is a fun drill that I like to do. And it's a great rifle for uh, home defense, for personal protection. Have a great time. So everybody, let's go and do some shooting, shall we? Hi everybody, this is John with another episode of Active Self-Protection. I got asked a question by a new shooter who asked, John, how much is it going to cost me to buy a gun for CCW? How much should I expect to spend on a good gun that I can conceal? Honestly, I think it's a misleading question because a lot of times people just get focused on the cost of the firearm, but I want to tell you that there's some additional costs that you need to consider and you want to look at the entire picture of what it's going to cost you if you're going to step into the world of concealed carry. I don't want you to step in there without some knowledge or without some understanding. So we might say, let's just put some costs up here. Let's just say the cost of the gun itself. Well, how much is a gun going to cost me for CCW? It depends. I mean, of course, you can spend thousands and thousands of dollars if you want. But if you've got that kind of money, you don't care about my cost analysis anyways. Have a nice day. Go spend your money. Um, you can spend, I think, as little as about $300 and get a decent, uh, you know, an acceptable carry gun. I don't think you really have to spend more than $800 to get a good carry gun. Down here, a Bursa or a Taurus firearm, um, a Smith & Wesson Sigma, something like that, would be down in this range. You get them used, stuff like that. Up here, around $800, bucks, a nice Sig Sauer. Um, you know, a middle of the range, 1911, if that's something that you want to carry. You know, anywhere in here, right, you split the difference and you're in your Glock XD, Smith & Wesson M&P line, and that's, you know, what a lot of people suggest. That's what I suggest is a great carry gun. So let's just say $500. Now, a lot of people, they think, okay, that's enough. That's all I have to think about spending. Oh, no, we're not talking about a home defense gun. We're not talking about a gun to sit on the nightstand and have sitting there in case you hear something go bump in the night. We're talking about a gun that you're going to carry. We're talking about a gun that you're going to uh, take out there into the big bad world. Well, what other things do we need? Well, first of all, we need to get probably certification. So you're going to need some training. You, you In most states, now I live in Arizona, you can carry uh, any citizen 21 years and up, not a prohibited possessor, can carry a firearm concealed. Not every state has that, though. Even if you do have constitutional carry, can't recommend enough you go get some training. Uh, carrying firearms is a big responsibility. So if you're going to go get certification, what's that going to cost you? Well, you know, you got to think you're about, oh, most places a CCW class, 70, 80 bucks. Uh, and then another $60, $80 to get the actual, uh, um, you know, permit back from the state, plus a few bucks for the ammo and all that stuff. Let's just say it's going to cost you $200 to get your certification, okay? Uh, now what else are you going to need? Is that enough? Now I've got that. I've spent $700 and, and I've gotten enough. No, you haven't. You've still got some more things that you have to, to pay attention to. Uh, you need a good belt. You need a good holster. I think a lot of shooters ignore this. They just go, no, nah, I'm just going to use the, the, the belt that I've got, and I'm going to go get a cheapy, you know, Uncle Mike's holster or a $20 Phobos paddle holster, and we'll just call it good. You're making a huge mistake doing that. The gun is not going to carry well. You're not going to be able to conceal it well. It's not going to be retained well. You're just going to have problems on top of problems on top of problems. A good belt and a good holster go a long way towards making your carry gear effective and appropriate, and you must spend decent money on that. I think a good belt, you're looking somewhere in the $50 range. Um, 5.11 makes a belt that's pretty good for everyday carry. You wear something like this, works great. Um, I like the Wilderness Instructor personally, is my personal choice, but there are others. A good holster is going to run you somewhere between $50 and $100. Um, let's just say, and, and let's put on there, let's be conservative, we're going to say $100 for a good holster. Now you're like, well, man, that seems like a lot of money, John. You're right. The holster I'm carrying in right now is a Galco King Tuck, cost me $55. Bucks. So it's on the lower end of that. I mean, if you go out there to a crossbreed, to get a Milt Sparks, God help you, you know, you can spend a lot of money on a great holster. It's worth it. They, they cost a little bit more because they work so much better. So make sure that you're getting a good quality holster. Between a belt and a holster, you're looking at spending about $150. Uh, that's a one. That's a five. That's a zero. About $150, uh, give or take. Don't skimp that money. Now, in addition to your certification, in addition to your belt, in addition to your holster, you're going to need duty ammo. And you're going to need to make sure that whatever gun you buy can, can eat that duty ammo, that it will eat the chow you're feeding it. That takes a little bit of ammo. Now, you might say, well, wait a minute, I'm buying a Glock and it'll eat anything. Hopefully. But do you want to bet your life on that? I can tell you, I carry in my Glock 19, I carry Hornady Critical Defense. And my Glock 19 has 200 rounds of Hornady Critical Defense run through it because I want to make sure that it feeds that ammo reliably. So how much is 200 rounds of Hornady Critical Defense going to cost you? Well, every box of 25 of them costs you, well, right now, stupid expensive, but, you know, when times aren't crazy, it costs you 
25 dollars for 25 of them a buck around well guess what you need to be willing to spend about 250 dollars to get your ammunition in order you need to be able to spend on range ammo how much is going to cost you to get proficient with that gun how many rounds does it take down the pipe of that particular firearm before you feel comfortable carrying it, before it's a tool that you can effectively use. I mean, don't get me wrong. I mean, here it is, and this is my carry piece. It's loaded right now, so I'm not going to play with it here. But, but again, this is my duty gun. I, I can just put a gun, you know, put rounds in it, put it on my hip. All right, back in the holster it goes. We're off and running, but can I use it? If you haven't trained with it, you can. If you haven't shot it on a regular basis, you can. I'm going to say that in, you know, 9 millimeter right now, you're talking another 1,000 rounds of ammunition minimum to get comfortable with that gun, to feel good with it, and to be able to use it when stressors are high. So let's just say that under current prices, you're going to spend another $300 in ammo, uh, in range ammo. Well, okay, now we're good, right? We've got everything we need. Well, that's if you assume that your first CCW class is enough, that you take that one class one time, and you never need to touch another firearms training class again. Well, wait a minute. If you wanted to learn to play golf, would you just take one golf lesson and you never need to take golf lessons again? No, of course not. That's ridiculous. You'd never succeed doing that. So you need to train more than that. So let's see some additional training costs in there. Let's just say that's another 200 bucks. we should say. Say you take a couple of classes that are fairly cheap and you get some ammo and all those kind of things. Now we're talking more along the lines of what it's going to cost me over the course of the first year to get into a CCW piece, to get into the market. So what are we looking at here? We're looking at five, six, seven, eight, fifty. That's nine hundred, a thousand, twelve, fifteen, seventeen hundred dollars to get into the game. Now I don't tell you this to keep you from CCWing. I don't tell you that at all, but I am telling you that for a very particular reason. I want you to count the cost before you start. You see, a lot of times people get in and they go, okay, wait a minute, the second I have 500 bucks, well, okay, I got to pay taxes on that, so 550 bucks, oh, well, I got to buy one box of duty ammo, so now we're at 600 bucks, but 600 bucks and I'm in. No, don't, don't think that way. You're not going to successfully be able to conceal and to use a firearm effectively and to actually make it a, a successful concealed firearm and to use that in your defensive repertoire for that $600. That is an inappropriate expectation. Don't expect it. You should expect to spend more than that. Make sure that you get your certifications correct and additional training. Make sure that you've got the appropriate gear. Make sure that you've got duty ammo and range ammo run through that gun that you know it's reliable. It goes bang every time you pull the trigger and you don't have to worry about it. That's what it takes. You might need to buy a few new pieces of clothes that'll that'll, that'll fit around the gun. You buy it inside the waistband holster. You buy a couple new pair of pants to go with that because they need a little bit more room. Not just because you've eaten too many Krispy Kremes. So here you go. This is what it's going to cost for you to get in there. Go in with the eyes wide open and expecting to have to spend some money. Now, not all at once. You might say, well, gosh, John, is that really what I'm going to have to do? Yeah, break that down over 12 months. You got $150 a month. Can you start putting $150 a month aside now that at the end of the year you can start doing things? Maybe before you buy the gun, you go get your certification. Maybe before you buy the gun, you start going and getting some ammo and you start stockpiling that. Once it gets done and you've got all that, you go buy yourself a great and you decide which one you're going to buy, go get the holster and the belt first. So then you start working towards having all that so that by the time you own everything, boom, you're in business and you can do that. Most people do this backwards. And in so doing, they shortchange themselves and you end up spending more money anyways because you go, okay, I do all that. Well, then, gosh, man, this wasn't the right gun for me. Uh, you know, after I got my search and some training, I realized, man, this gun wasn't right for me. So now i got to go buy another gun. Well, you might be able to sell this one and recoup your money. You might not. So in other words, folks, here's what I say all this for. Understand that there's a cost to getting into this market. Understand that your self-defense is going to cost you something. Be willing to pay the cost both monetarily, time, attention, and effort, and your foray into CCW will be successful. That's all for now. Hope you have a great day. So everybody, let's go and do some shooting, shall we?